Hello and welcome to your daily Google News. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how someone might find their way around uh, the Google Ads policies. And before I dive too deep, I just want to say that this is purely hypothetical. I would never encourage any of my clients, students, or followers to subvert any of Google's terms of service for any reason because they're all 100% fair all of the time. Google knows best and I, on a personal note, tend to follow them with the religious fervor of a well-kept pet. Uh, that disclaimer aside, um, if you've ever had the error message from Google, your ads aren't eligible to show for keywords that are that relate to restricted products or services. Um, what's really interesting about this, and poetically just, I might add, is if you use uh, identify search terms that are similar and or analogous to whatever keyword it is that Google's restricting, and then plug those into your dashboard uh, phrase match, and Google is going to begin delivering close variants. Here's what's awesome. Um, again, in a hypothetical world, we have seen I think Google starts to deliver the very same search terms that it said were otherwise restricted uh, for restricted products or services. So if you want to know how to run ads on restricted products or services, just go find uh, terms that are synonymous and or analogous to those products or services, plug them in phrase. You can go broad match if you want to. It might go a little bit too far, obviously, but plug them in phrase match. Google starts to deliver close variants and we've seen and on repeated occasions where we're running for phrases that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to run for. I especially like this because of just how uh, forceful Google has been with their match type expansion. And it's nice to see it work against them. Um, you know, the Leviathan doth stub its toe, uh, which is kind of nifty. So I really, you know, all jokes aside and sarcasm aside, like a lot of the things in Google's policies are there for a reason and you really shouldn't be bidding on. I also don't anticipate this lasting forever. I think for most industries, Google's going to find a way to go in there and, and clean those up and at least do a, a fair bit of reconciliation. What doesn't make any damn sense to me is the fact that it's all, it, this, you know, this being a database driven application, the fact that that expansion is actually being allowed um, given, given the fact that you've had a search term turned off by Google or, or disapproved or whatever the, the, the nomenclature is. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't be able to just cross-reference that with their with their expanded match types, but they can't right now, and, and uh, or at least not to a degree. And, um, you know, there, there are some phrases that you should be able to bid on, and Google's just being petulant. And we have found a mild way around that, and I won't say on what phrases for obvious reasons, um, because I don't want to let the cat out of the bag um, for the clients that those accounts belong to. Um, so forgive me for being cryptic. If you know what I'm talking about, you already kind of know the deal here. Uh, and I think you should be able to, in some cases, um, you know, accomplish what we've been able to accomplish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.